I'm joined by Kilkenny's captain Shelley Farrell and yet again we have a Cork Kilkenny All-Ireland final. I'm looking forward to it. I'm assuming you're looking forward to it, but probably not for the same reasons I am. <laughs> oh, really looking forward to it now. It's great to be back in an All-Ireland final and it's brilliant to get another chance at Cork now this year. You say get another chance at Cork very politely, but there's a great rivalry between you two teams and between your two managers, which comes up to a great game for the neutrals. You probably don't care so much about that. You're just focusing on the game, though. What kind of game do you think it's going to be? Um, I think it'll be a very tactical game, as usual, and there'll be a lot of matchups and a lot of space cut out on both ends because the ability that both forwards have and even the backs are unbelievable. So, obviously, everyone's going to try and limit those abilities. So, it's just it's a great match, but it, we really are looking forward to it, and we're just hoping we can express ourselves like we have been at training this year. Two years ago, Kilkenny killed off a famine, finally won the final. Last year, it was taken away from you in the last gasp kind of game. You've won the league this year. Do those tit-for-tat things, do they make a difference in your mindset as you're preparing? Um, it would give you confidence that you have beaten Cork this year and we know that we've beaten them. So it was great to get the win in the league, but again, it's going to be completely different now, All-Ireland Day the hype about it and the uh, rivalry that everyone talks about but we're uh, really looking forward to it now and I'm sure Cork are the exact same and the win in 2016 was unbelievable compared to the feeling of the last last year so we really don't want to feel like that again. How long does it take to bounce back from a loss like that because I know Kilkenny have gotten to finals before and you didn't win but last year's loss was different because one you could have won it and two the feeling was very acute because you knew how good it felt from the year before yeah exactly it was literally the last puck of the game that the winning score was got so it was very tough to swallow after the match but you're back to your club nearly straight away that weekend so you kind of forget about it then after a few weeks and once the media is finished with it and you see things off the paper and that it's great to, that it's just finished then you know there and then but then obviously when you start playing each other again now the build up is back again and the league we started very well in the league and it just showed the spirit that Cork had how they came back so strong and we were lucky we had just a bit of edge there on the day to get over the line. The way Kilkenny lost last year it was heartbreaking for you but it was also very un-Kilkenny like the way when we think of Kilkenny Camogie and Hurling you think of people who will go to the last and usually come out on top. Yeah. What have you done this year to ensure if it comes down to the bar like that that you'll be the ones lifting the cup? Uh, we've just focused a lot on our mindset and closing out games and when teams are getting tough is not to worry what the score is if teams are up by six or seven points we know we have the strength in us to come back and I think a lot of our championship matches this year one match against Limerick, we were three points down going into the second half and we completely turned it around in the second half. We put in an unbelievable 30 minutes as a team and that's what we really need to look for on Sunday. We need to put in a team effort for the 60 minutes or 65, whatever time is added on. We have to be ready for extra time or you have to be ready to empty everything you have in the tank on the day. Am I right in saying as well that as a team you've become physically stronger as well? Yeah, definitely. The physicality since 2016, I think when Lee Megan, our strength and conditioning coach, came on, he's completely changed the way that we look at training and the way we train and even our attitude towards it and how to get yourself right for the pitch before we even start going out on the pitch. So it's been even Camogie everything intermediate junior senior you probably never heard of uh, going to the gym in years ago but now everyone goes on the days they're not training so you have to have the strength as well as the skill these days